I love this just being able to take off malarkey. That's uh I like the idea it tells us. I like the idea it tells us that we got a uh, altitude zone nearby. Uh, it's 150 meters and of course my uh my top height is uh is 120 meters, so none of that really comes into anything. Now, I'm going to try and use this, my bike, if it's possible. Put it up about there. Bring the camera down to about there. And we're going to go for one of these, uh, one of these circle modes, if we can. Any quick shots? Yeah. So we're just going to go into the circle. We've got to get rid of this thing first. Draw around. Draw around uh, this. All right. And as soon as that lad gets out of the way, I'll start doing it. As soon as George gets out of the way, that sounds of it. Yay. Right. Now. I'm going to go around this way and I'm going to start doing the circle. It's uh, now these are all school levers, I believe, but let's just put it on its go anyway. Three, two, one. Now let's just see if it will circle around there. So yeah, that does actually, that circles around that quite nicely. Which can give quite a, quite a nice visual effect. I wonder if I can do this even lower. I wonder if they're gonna move off from there now. I wonder if I can do it lower. But I can't really do it while they're there because they're just Right, so let's just do it again. And this time we're going to do it the other way around. And I'm going to do it a little bit closer if I can. <laughs> it don't want to move. I put it in the circle mode and it doesn't want to move. It's trying to hold itself there. So let's just do this one. Where's that kid? There we go. I'm not sure if you can adjust the speeds on this. I mean, I can see the speed there gets up to like eight kilometers an hour. So I'm not sure if you can actually adjust the speed, but it's nice to see that you can keep that. Now, I wonder if I just get out of this and put it back into video, so I can just Pull that back a little tiny bit and just drop that down. Yeah. If I just drop, and I want to drop the camera down a bit, don't I? Just about there. And then just see if we go back into that, uh, into the circle mode. It adjusts itself, I don't know if you've noticed. Um, oh. All right, so it adjusts on the camera as well. We're going back around the other mode. I'm going to keep an eye on the history gram. I don't know why, I just, Two, just because I've just dropped this down a bit and when I look through it all. Yeah, I think it's keeping more of a, more of an eye. on the back of the bike. Yeah, yeah, that's all good. So that's quite a nice little one. I do like that. Now the rocket thing. I'm going to try that rocket thing again. Um, I don't know. I don't 
turn that off and just do this. All right. So let's go to the altitude of 30 meters and just Three, start that. Two, one. Twenty meters. Twenty six meters. So it's gonna return back to where it started from. It'd be nice if the camera went up at the same time. So if I was doing it and I was just trying to keep focused on that all the time, that would be quite nice. But that doesn't seem to be the way that sort of works. Now I'm going to take it on, um, let's put it back into video mode, because it doesn't seem to like, it doesn't seem to like being uh, pulled around. So let's just bring that over there. All right, now with that facing down, probably need to go back a little bit more. Just put that up. All right, now we're going to go back into quick shots and we're going to do this uh, the drowning off it. So, by rights, I should be able to tap on this. No. Nope. Fine. All right, so let's do Three, this one. Two, one. It's got to keep an eye on that. Alright, so now it's going to return back. So it's descending in its height and it's coming in. And that pretty much puts it back to where it was. Now we've got this helix thing, and so for that, for the helix thing, now this is, um, I mean, it's ample light, but of course the sun keeps coming out. And then, the, then it goes back in again. So this time what we're gonna do, is we're gonna bring it down a little bit, if it lets me. And just bring it in. That's it, and just move that over there. And so with this now, we're gonna do the helix. Yep. Yep, the helix. And we're gonna do this. No, I was going to try and do it around me. Don't do it around me. I want to draw it around this here. Right. No, not me. You can't do the helix around me. <sighs> All right, we're going to have to do the helix around me because it can't see the bike. You know what? No, it can't see the bike. So. <clears throat> So we'll do the helix around me. The radius of 30 meters from this sort of height off the ground. I don't think. <laughs> no, we're gonna find out. Yeah. Go on him. Let's give it a go. I'm brave with my hands in my pockets. Really if you're watching this, so it's gonna go up to 30 meters, but it should be staying relatively around me. And it's going to be doing that. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. You can almost feel confident enough. But there's no trees in the way. I know that much. And so we should almost be confident enough that it's going to do that without doing anything untoward. I can see that my light has gone down. My ISO's changed to 200. Ooh. Oh, it's going to come back to me. Hello. 
Hello, hello, hello. All right. Well, I'm quite confident this stuff works pretty good. Uh, of course, the rocket one, the boomerang. I don't know if there's any settings for the boomerang. I'm not quite sure what it's going to do on this. I think for the boomerang. If I put that on me. And we go. Right, let's just. Let's just take that off me first. And we're going to go uh, backwards. Alright, we're going to go backwards because we're not going to hit any of these uh, trees. And then we're going to try this boom. Let's see what happens. Three, two, one. So from what I guess is supposed to happen is it's supposed to go up and then it's gonna come back in quite close. Always gonna keep an eye on this. Not quite sure what happened there. It seems like one of those. Uh... Yeah, I'm not quite sure what happened. There. But maybe if I just move this over a little bit more, we'll do it again. Let's get down. Let me come down a bit lower. Well, what we got here? We got a good eight percent battery, as far as I can tell. Right, so if I come right in here, let's go right this way, and then we're going to get out of here. Should be able to get anything up towards. It's going to keep an eye on those trees, just because I don't expect it to go any further than what it says it's going to go, but. We are relying a little bit on the GPS module. But will it bring itself back round to the other side? No, it's because I turned around, didn't I? So it's about, it goes out by just a little tiny bit. Which, oh, that's, that's, that's pretty good going. That is pretty good going. Right, so let's just get out of this. Go back into video mode. That on auto, which it's on. What would it be like if I followed it this way and just and started bringing it in? Perfect. Now I don't think I can do a boomerang from here, but I reckon I can put it up a bit higher. Hello doggies. Um, I don't think there's any point doing that one actually. Shots. I'm going to do one more circle. One more circle for me. One more. I wonder how close I can bring this in to do the circle. And if it goes, me. On a distance of 30 meters, do we? Oh, 
No. That's as close as we can have. Oh, I don't understand that for the circle. Oh, it's not a circle, is it? It's, uh, that's the droney part. Stop. Again, again. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Right, that's it now. I'm going to land this.